Jerry, can you talk about how the, uh, the sort of the revamped offensive line performed? You, you got pressured a lot, and uh, there was other times you had some time. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job. Um, you know, especially Borreo for his first game. I thought he stepped in and did a great job. You know, Okafor did a great job on the left tackle, and you know, I thought overall they did a really good job today. Third down execution, I think in the first half, it was like five for 14, but you were getting four and a half yards on first and second down. What what broke down once you got to third down? You know, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is there. We just need to execute when we need to, and, you know, we didn't do a very good job that tonight when we when we were in third and short, third and, you know, seven, eight. We need to, you know, get seven or eight yards, and we maybe get two or three, and just need to do a better job of executing, and, you know, just I need to do a better job of my reads, and everyone just needs to get better. Do you see a light at the end of the tunnel here, or do you see improvement, or is this yeah. becoming real discouraging? No, I, I see definite improvement. I think we're really, it's it's hard to imagine, but I think we're really coming together as a team through all this all this uh, pain and struggle. And I think we're really, you know, coming together and you know forming a bond with each other offensively and defensively. And it's, I do I do definitely see a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we we just keep just gotta keep getting better every week. How did the gloves feel? Great, felt great. <clears throat> what was your comfort level tonight? You know, you didn't have a turnover tonight, and it looked like. You got a little bit of a rhythm a couple of times. I felt good, pretty pretty much uh, most of the game. You know, there's there's some plays I wish I had I wish I could have back. Um, you know, some open guys I probably didn't throw a very good ball on, but you know, a lot of my receivers made some good plays for me, which made up for that. And you know, they did a great job. What are some positives that you can take from this game, both individually and as a team? You know, I thought um, individually I didn't turn the ball over. That was one thing I've been working on. And, that was good, but at the same time, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't do very well that I need to do better. And I thought um, one thing we can take from that, I thought Richard played great. I thought Richard was, I mean, he was he was telling me he was open a lot, and I got to throw him the ball more. He's open a lot, and he's a great target for me. And, you know, he played a great game, made some good catches, saved me a couple times, and um, as well as the offensive line, I thought they really came together tonight. There was a running lane that opened early. I think he only got five or six. He could have gotten <clears throat> maybe some more. Were you feeling a little tentative? On that one, because you've been knocked around a little bit. I don't really remember that, but I don't think so. Jared, how tough is it to always be coming from behind? Because you guys haven't had a lead in a long time. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 difficult, but you know we're we got to score either way to win the game, and we know that, and we we can't expect to you know score ten points in three and a half quarters and expect to win the game. I mean, really, you can't expect that anywhere. And we just need to do a better job, you know, executing down when we get to towards the end zone and putting the ball in the end zone. Really, that's what it comes down to. You feel like the third downs were maybe one of the reasons why you weren't able to convert some of those drives into points ultimately. Those are always a reason. You know, third, third down execution is always a big deal, and if you do a good job at that, most time it ends in a lot of points. And you know, tonight we didn't do a very good job. Do you feel like defenses are much more prepared right now for the bear raid scheme? First few games seem like maybe you caught some guys off guard, but do you feel like people are, are kind of scheming scheming now against it? I'm, I mean, they've had what we what have we had seven or eight games to watch film on, so. It's definitely going to be a little bit more than it was at the beginning of the season with them knowing what we're doing and them having an idea of what we're going to try to do against them. But at the same time, and we, we know that. We know that we need to make adjustments before we come into a game, and we do every week. So it, I don't really think it affects us much, them having games to watch film, but you know they definitely have an idea of what we're doing. Do you think it affects you more, the fact that you guys haven't had a consistent running game? I mean, that's something they can plan against. I mean, I thought I thought we did a great job tonight. You saw Calfani break off that one of them. That was very encouraging to see that. And um, I thought Darren did great. Darren did a great job. He stepped up, did a great job. You know, he was a good power back for us. Got us the yards when we needed it. And you know, I think the running game was doing better tonight.